Well, this is becoming a bit of a recurring theme of Squad Builder Showdown on my channel recently. Welcome to Squad Builder Showdown on UCL Road to the Final Gareth Bale. For the second time, we are re-recording once again as we did with skills. And this time, it wasn't my fault. Pat on the back to me. Um... Punching the head to Kebs. <laughs> Do I just sit in the corner and weep? <laughs> no, punching the head to Kebs' computer. Yeah. Because his OBS had a meltdown and didn't save once again his face cam properly. If it wasn't, if it was the gameplay, Kebs, it's right. fine, isn't it? Like you can just get screenshots of what people's squads were at each section. I obviously filmed the gameplay anyway. I filmed the discards, Kebs. Mhm. Mm yep. Um, Ed's Harry. Please now play the discards. Explain yourself, Kebs. Um. Basically. How? Dare you beat me! Make me discard plus gas and not even record it. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know what I'm and do you know what I'm gonna blame it on, mate? I reckon that my drip of the Greg's outfit was so good the camera couldn't take it. Is that what it was? And that's all I can put it down to, basically, mate. So um The camera had to nip off and yeah. get three sausage rolls for 150 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. That yum yum and everything, mate. <laughs> they had a great time. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so muddled. It was quite a good video as well, as I would like to think, if regardless, I am very biased about that thing, but it was funny, and I'm sure you guys would have really enjoyed it, because Kerbs guessed a lot of my players. In fact, I can go onto the squad and show you guys. I can't, I deleted it because I wanted to call this one the same thing, feels bad. Oh. Golf ski on <laughs> YouTube is what we've called it. What did you, you guessed one of my players in every single section, didn't you? Yes, I believe, yeah. Are the maybe, ooh, maybe except the centre-backs and goalie, but you guessed a forward, yes, a midfielder, and a full-back. Mm -hmm. Beat me 4-2, I think, because I did guess some of Kerbs' players as well. You did? And then discarded Puskas. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you guys would have really enjoyed it. Yeah. If you didn't feel bad enough already for the, f the face cam file going wrong, Puskas also went as well. So, yeah. He, he was my favourite. Well, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one anyway. And what you have managed to do, actually, is you have found me again, as I said, Kerbs, I think on your video, it might have been on last one. You've got me at my final form. I've got a cup of coffee in hand. You're donezo, mate. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done for. I'm, I'm, not, I'm never awake at this time. I've had a bowl of True. frosties, which I've never done in a, a, a long, long time. So It's currently half ten. I can't really get my, my arm to bend that way to get the camera to focus on. It's currently half ten, which normal people will be like, yeah, Kerbs. He's up about four hours early to film this video. I made him get up at nine o'clock. However, we have just had a little COVID debacle in my house where me and Katie tested what can only be described as very positive. I've never seen the tested positive line be so like dark on anyone's tests I've seen. I tested negative, thankfully, so far, but I don't feel great. We shall see. Three days later. I'll keep you guys updated. There is videos to come anyway, because we are recording ahead of schedule, which is nice. So we're a little bit late to start, but I mean, it's half 10 curbs, like, come on, mate. <laughs> that, that just makes me sound so bad. Most people have been up for about at least <laughs> three hours by now, but Kerbs is up about four hours early. So we've got him on a bad day. We've got him with a very good player, Juicy Al Gareth Bale, who we have used, we tried. He's actually insane, isn't he, Kerbs? Very, very good. Like, surprisingly, like, just the price that he is of how good he is, it, it's mad. 220k he costs. We could even run a little bit of a goals montage, because I'm going to have to send Harry the gameplay from the last video. A little bit of a Gareth Bale goals montage. He's really, really, really good. And he's 220k. Like, I was about to say before we got sidetracked with something else, the people managed to avoid the 25 minutes of golf chat. Oh, yeah. Because the video got <laughs> deleted. True. Yeah, that's true. The, the whole comment section is now in uproar of applause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Kers were discussing Gareth Bale's handicap, basically. I thought he's a professional athlete. I won't go as in-depth to it as we did last time, because Kerbs already knows the answer. He's a professional athlete. He loves golf. In my head, I don't know why, he's like a scratch golfer. 
And then I was Googling it to try and find it. I found a tweet from Gareth Bale from 2013 where he was on 11 handicap, which is still outrageous at golf. And then I found a video from this year, or last year, I can't remember when it was, like soon, recently, from the DP World Tour where he was like playing in a pro-am. He's got a three or four handicap, which is still outrageous at golf, but I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of all like the media bias hype. I don't know what the word for it is. Like the whole clown fiesta about Gareth Bale liking golf more than football. I always assumed he was a scratch golfer, but not quite. Maybe when he retires from football and he can play twice a day instead of once. Anyway, that's your facts about Gareth Bale and his handicap. He's infinitely better than golf than me. Just not quite good enough to play professionally yet. That is something I would like to see though. Anyway, Kerbs, shall we get into a video? Shall we do some more Squabble the on? Shall we discard your Puskas or something this time? Uh, no, I'm, uh, no, I could do with keeping a Puskas, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Wait, this is, oh my god, this, um, the more I think about it, the more funny that old, that video was that didn't get uploaded. Kerbs was guessing all of my players, so in the end, I completely lost my mind and picked Ben, uh, Ben Godfrey. Oh, god, yeah. Ben Godfrey. <gasps> oh my god. At centre back. They missed the PK debacle. And he was unreal. No. And I had showdown PK next to him and he was tragic. Oh no. You know what? I reckon that game should be like a second channel upload or something. Maybe. Just because of Clips how channel. bad PK was in that game. If you'd like to see that, actually, I have been plugging the chips. Plugging the chips, The panel. chips? Bloody hell. <laughs> Are you sure that you're not sleep deprived and I am? I might like, be, mate. Wow. I have been plugging the Clips channel quite a lot. Go and check out the Clips channel. Would you like to see that on the Clips channel? That's not a bad idea. Highlights of the Squabble of Shadow game that never was. That could be a good thing to upload. So yeah, we've just been sticking up Squabble of Shadow clips, one of them are packs, stuff like that. Anyway, Kevs, we meant to have got all the chit chat out True. yesterday when we filmed, but I just can't help myself. Same, honestly. We love a good chit mag, don't we? I could on I could sit here holding this. I almost said, oh my God, I have, I have all lost. <laughs> My mind. I almost said the formation that's written on my whiteboard. <laughs> I, was like, I could sit here holding a pre-5-2 all day and just talk about stuff. I was so close to saying it. <laughs> what? But, but did you wait? Did you not just say it? No, it wasn't free. Come oh, on, okay. I didn't write down free five I, two games. I didn't games. know you were going to do it twice. I in did a that row. last time. That was also <laughs> mental. It was. Um, I'll have the the four four two, please, mate. Well, I wrote four three two. Four three two. Yeah, four and then three twos. Oh, okay. Fair enough. No, not not going to catch me out today, sir. No, 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 no. All right. What would you I like? I am going to go. You got four, four, two. What count is four, four? Because Kerbs is irritatingly good at FIFA. This is the problem. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to play? Yeah. What? Four, two, three, one, wide. Oh. Interesting. You can cut. You can have As it. We just do you not think it's good? I, I think we discovered Gareth Bale's insane in the air. Oh, that's true. Crosses could work. That's potentially why I've gone for a 4-4-2. You'll never Fair know. Fair enough. Mm, but Fair enough. True. Just a shame I can't put Puskas in. <laughs> that's going to be a recurring theme about Puskas's video, isn't it? It's, it's like a remembrance video for Puskas instead. I was jumping nuts. That stat is finally not a lie on one of these cards. 99 jumping in it, you can tell. He just wins every header. He's crackers. Okay, well, this should be a fun video. We'll do my left mid and right mid curbs, and we'll do your striker left mid, right mid. Sweet. So let's get in to the first guesses around some Gareth Bale. <laughs> Into the first picks we go then, mate. Do you want to go first or second? Oh, can I go first, please? You may. Oh, we'd love to see it. Okay. At right striker, I'm dipping off to the Serie A, my friend. And Don't pick Vlahovic, please. <laughs> no, I'm not actually, no. Uh, I'm going to use this absolutely uh, unbelievable Lataro Martinez honourable mentions. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is also very good. I, I used him for the first time the other day, and I, again, his stats just are a lie. He's so much better than his face card stats, so I was like, oof. Yes, please. Thank you very yes. much. Please. We did squabble the show on Kerbs' channel as well on, obviously because Kerbs is my new fan, we did UCL Tellers. I managed to sneak that Flahovic into the squad. A little bit of spoilers for you. But, 
is crazy. Absolutely unbelievable. I, I, the temptation to put him in this squad, though, mate, I can't lie, was very, very high. But <laughs> I fought against it in the end. Just a gentleman's rule and all that, you know? Fair. So, for the right mid, I'd like to go for uh, Matteo Politano, please. Uh, he's got yep. a lovely road to the knockout. It's very, very nice. Now, I have a little bit of a dilemma at the left mid. Yesterday, you guessed Vinicius Jr. So... I don't know whether I want to try and put his uh, headliner card that you know that I have in, or I just go for the Winter Wild Card, Eden Hazard. I can imagine there's a large smile on your face currently because I know that you've probably written one of them down. I just don't know which one. So I'm going to try for the second time, and I want headliners Vinicius Jr., please. I respect it, Kevs. Oh, no, you sound far too happy, though. I respect how big you think my brain is Ooh. that you think i would write down hazard to double bluff you mm -hmm. so then you've tried to triple bluff me yep whereas i've actually quadruple bluffed you because oh, my brain's God's even sake. bigger than that get him the hell out of here mate <laughs> ah every time <laughs> oh i'm so i just wanted look, I've, I've never used him and he's Kev's first got an untradeable 1.3 million headliners vinicius and has never been able to use it in a video <laughs> <laughs> i thought i thought i thought today today of all days you'd be like nah Kev's, he's not gonna pick him there's no way that i'm gonna pick him no way oh i'm down there's no way that you're picking him mate yeah absolutely not <laughs> not a chance exactly because you know who you're picking I know exactly who I'm getting. Go on. <laughs> does, he, does he play for Real Madrid by any chance? Oh, he does. Is he a goalkeeper by any oh, chance? Oh, he is. Is his name Luis Lopez? Oh, it absolutely is, mate. Get him in your squad. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. Do you want to know who I want? I'd love to know who you'd, you'd like. Vinicius <laughs> Jr., mate. Oh, for Christ. I can't. I can't. No, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I literally can't be bothered, man. <laughs> ah! Get him in the squad on the right hand side. I'm not sure. Uh, that's as far as he got is shouting Vinicius Jr. Oh, I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Unreal. Who are you going to pick on the right side, though, my friend? I'm going to go to the middle first. And I'm going to pick Luka Modric. Which is a bit bait. Because okay. Kev's actually guessed Valverde for my cam yesterday in 4 triple 2, which is bizarre. Maybe he's written that down because he's a centimeter cam as well. On the right hand side. Do you know what? I'll have Prime David Beckham. Pro okay. Well, that's an interesting one. I wrote down for you Brian Hill. Please don't say Modric. Ferran Torres. Please don't say Modric. And I did a stupid, I forgot to write down a cam, so I've, I've written on my whiteboard. Did I actually? I, I'm oh, in, I wasn't I'm to guess one. Oh, I'm cheating. No, that was right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait. It's your mess. I picked three because you picked three. Yeah, you're right. Oh, crap. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. No, no. Now you know what I want. <laughs> wait, no. Just, isn't that how it's supposed to work? Because I've now got two centimids and you've got two CDMs I've got to pick. Uh, kind of, but not really because... <laughs> You do the centre mids with the centre mids, and you do the wingers with the wingers, and you just have to have an extra striker and I've got an extra centre mid. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. It's like if I was playing 4 3 3, we do my left wing and right wing with your left mid, right mid striker, and then we do my three centre mids with your two centre mids. It's kind of the same thing. I've just fully lost my plot. Oh, no, I do you know what my. Okay. 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 I'm stupid. I, I, I've, uh, I've also changed my whiteboard to um, Andy's an idiot now, <laughs> instead yeah. of I'm the idiot. <laughs> well, if you could have just recorded your bloody face cam the first time, Kerbs, I wouldn't look stupid. So, uh, Well, at least it wasn't a millionaire <laughs> episode where we won the whole thing. All right? That is true. <laughs> Kerbs does have a habit of this. I was just silly and forgot to delete files off my hard drive for the skills on. And people would yeah. do proper conspiracy theories in the comments, you know, saying, oh, it's because Andy had to discard someone huge. He just was like, oh, my face cam didn't record. No, obviously not. I, ju I just discarded Puskas for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you really wanted to do that to your own butch. <laughs> yeah, like, I think the discard was team of the year Donnarumma, who was like 100, who was outrageously 150K. Jeez. Especially for a goalkeeper. Good lord. 
Oh, uh, it's 100 and... It's 200k now. I've said he's like 150k. Means it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Either way, he's I've untradeable in my club, for and he's you, basically bro. worthless. So it doesn't matter. This Gareth Bale's 200k curbs. He is. We spoke about this in the video yesterday, actually. I'm going to draw a diagram because apparently I can't speak today. <laughs> oh, this is just going to be fantastic if it's anything. What we have on FIFA, right? If you imagine going along the bottom is price. It's the price of your cards there. What we've got is loads and 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 loads of cards here. And then a few cards here. And there's nothing in the middle. You've got your Gareth Bales and stuff that go up to like 200k. Your team of the year, bloody Donnarumma for 200k. Stuff like that. Your normal Neymars, your normal Ronaldo's, your normal Messi's. And then to improve your squad beyond that, you have to spend like Kerbs as Vinicius, 1.3 mil, or get team of the year and Bappe for 4 mil. It's just, there's just nothing in the middle. There's no progression once you've got past a Good, a very good team, basically. There's no, there's not really anything to aim for because you can't afford prime Ronaldo. Do you know what I mean? You can't afford team in the Mbappe just playing yeah. the game normally. Unless you're pie face and you pack him. There, there, there is that, yeah. Unless yeah. you're stupidly lucky or put loads of money in. Yeah. So then we were talking about it with skills in the fact that it's bad because it's not too difficult. You obviously still have to be quite good at FIFA, but if you like, if you play foot champs once or twice a month, if you play some of the rivals, if you know how to do a bit of trading or whatever and investing, uh, Christmas or uh, Black Friday or whatever, you can make some coins and you can get yourself Neymar and Messi and Mbappe and Kante and all these normal cards. And there's not really anywhere to go, which is kind of boring. But conversely, this Gareth Bale, you were saying, wouldn't you, last year, this would have been like a one and a half mil. Oh, and the rest, probably. Like in previous years, any position change of Bale has always been at least 1.5 to two and a half million. Whereas he's 200K, so you can just sell your Neymar and try a different team with this crazy Gareth Bale instead. So there's fun in terms of like, there's loads of different players to choose from. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's an interesting one. It's positives and negatives, I guess, in that everyone can get a very good squad, but the growth is very staggered. Like you hit a, a, a wall basically that you can't get past very, very quickly. And then you just sort of changing your team up for the fun of it. Anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to draw a diagram really. Let's move on. Right, into the midfield we go then. What we've done is I have basically, I felt it was a little bit unfair on Kerbs because we've introduced extra mind games into the guessing based on my own stupidity, really. I guess if Kerbs had written down Modric, it's kind of his own fault for confusing himself and you're having less of a chance to guess on a player. But I said Modric, so it's kind of my bad and it makes it harder for Kerbs because we were talking about it and I would have picked Modric, obviously I did, and Kerbs said that he wouldn't have written it down. But then, because I did that, because I did pick it when I shouldn't have done, Cabs was then going to write it down, obviously, because it's 50-50 at that point, I'm still keeping him. But I wasn't going to get him, I was just going to pick someone else, and then that wastes Cabs' guess. So what I've done is I've said to Cabs, I'm not going to pick Modric, guess something else. To which I have done, and I'm hoping that you choose it. Makes sense in my head, but my head is currently absolutely all over the place, so who knows. I hope you guys, I feel like this is a very funny video, but also, I feel like I'm living in La La Land, so who knows. <laughs> Could be anything. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'll have to have a silver. <laughs> <laughs> the caffeine still ain't kicked in. <laughs> I feel like it has, and it's made me worse. Now my thoughts are just going faster, but they still don't make sense. <laughs> I'll have Delaney, because he's a bit of a Road to Glory channel hero back in the day. Okay. And then, what is this? Oh, it's a league player. That's a pain. I would say I touch grass, but I probably shouldn't go outside until I stop coughing. Ooh, I'll have Kapue, because he's a sneaky one. Also, side note again, Sean DePaul. I know he has his... Showdown card, or whatever it is. Very Why nice. has he not had a ones to watch upgrade? What are Atletico playing at? They're in the league, they've been pretty awful. Conceding goals left, right, and center. Not impressed. Mm, there you go. Anyway, what did you put? Uh, well, I put down Valverde. Nice. And then I thought you might have gone for potentially something a bit different. So I wrote down Mason Mount and then Fred, just in case like you went for. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that would have been sneaky, actually, because mm. Gareth Bale's already on 4 chem. Exactly. So I was like, ah, is he going to do something a bit more jazzy? But no, I've uh, failed myself, my friend. I was going to go jazzy if I had Modric because that had put Modric on full chem. Mm -hmm. And then also Vinicius doesn't need any more links. Exactly. As well. Yeah. But I bottled it after messing up. You did. Big do you reckon, actually, this is something else. I've got apparently a lot of things to talk about 
Bayard's going around like a million miles an hour. Modric. Da so David Silva is surely someone who's going to get an icon card when he retires. Absolutely. But then so is Modric. Surely as well. Yes. And yes. you could argue so is Gareth Bale. Also, yes. I mean, other than Ronaldo and Messi, you've got probably three players that you could say have probably have been the best in the next generation. Suarez, Neymar and Gareth Bale. But potentially Eden Hazard thrown in there as well. So, yeah, and then but then I'm going through and looking at the wall being like, oh, you could have an icon. Or you could get an icon. Or we could get an icon. At what point? Like, surely Are they not do a that hero every football generation? True. You could. So, like, if I go on icons and look at Cruyff, for example. Yeah. Surely there was loads of other footballers. Like, we're saying, obviously, Messi and Ronaldo deserve icon cards. Yeah. Who was the Kante and De Bruyne and Modric and Neymar and all that to Cruyff? And who was that to Maldini? And do you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah, so many players yeah. in every generation where they're the best in the world. How? What makes you get an icon card and not other than selling your rights to EA? True. And what would be the difference between a hero or exactly, an icon yeah, as well? And an icon. So would David Silva be a hero to Man City or is he an icon of football? Oof, that's hard. Yeah, it's an interesting that's one. That's really hard. I feel hard. like I'm saying, comments down below. I'm asking a lot of questions in this video. Mm. Feel free to answer as many or as few of them as you want, really. But Because he is a hero. He is, by definition, he is a hero to City fans. Absolutely, yeah. But he's also an icon of their club. But then is an icon of a club a hero or is he an icon of football in general? With David Silva, it's probably an argument that you could have for it. I think Gareth Bale, icon. Absolutely. He's an icon uh, of Welsh football, isn't he? Yeah, and, and like... Champions what, League Champions League, well. with, yeah. Like the, scoring the best, probably the best goal we'll ever see in a Champions League final with that overhead kick as well. Like... Kante, icon? Uh, potentially. Probably won one the of the... Prem with Leicester, won the Prem with Chelsea, one of only two players to win the Prem with back-to-back -back club. Back-to-back... With two different True. clubs, did you know that? I did not know that, no. And I can't remember who it is. I think they've won Scott Carson. Oh, wow. He did it with City and Chelsea as a backup goalie. I'm pretty sure it's Scott Carson. It's something as stupid as that, where it was a backup goalie who'd never even played for either of the teams. Yeah, they won Kante. Wow. Kind of mad. Again, Kante's probably one that you could argue, whether it be a hero of, like, coming to English football. But he's won the World he's Cup, also won the, World the Cup Champions as well. League. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Premier true. League twice with two different clubs. It's very, very difficult to, to put yeah. your... It's mad, isn't it? To, it's just, uh, I, feel, I, I mean, this is it's a video, weird, to be fair, where we it can is, sit here and talk about it. Manuel Neuer surely got to be an icon. Oh, absolutely, yeah. He, 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 Lewandowski. Icon, absolutely. Nah, you need a Ballon d'Or to become an icon, in my opinion, so you can't have him. <laughs> Every single Bayern Munich or Lewandowski <laughs> fan is now fuming at you. <laughs> He's absolutely been robbed, Danny, the poor guy. Yeah, it's the, like just he's just been given a UA for best forward instead. Like, oh, it's just, it's just oh, yeah, it's sad. A, I don't know. It's interesting because like Mo Salah, yeah. icon, because he's an icon of Egyptian football. Because then there's I, yeah. there's icons like if you scroll all the way down. I mean, there is some stinky icons to be honest with you. Some of them, yeah. I think, shouldn't be icons anymore, but they mm -hmm. are. They got them years. Ago. I mean, some of them got them taken away. Yeah. But like Henrik Larsson, for example, is a Celtic hero. Yeah. And is a Swedish icon. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Swedish icon. Swedish but it's people like, love him. What's the, where's the where's the line? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, what what is the one of the specific reasonings for an icon card? Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Another good icon. Bushcast. Great player. Very good. Yeah. But then, to be fair, you do look at the icons and you think, do you know what? Actually. Henrik Larsson was better than Tim Cale and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and... Yeah. I don't know, was he better than Fernando Morientes and Dina Natale and Melito? Dina Natale uh, Dina Tarle potentially should have had an icon. And God. Gomez. Like, Gomez is the World Cup's top scorer, isn't he? No, that's Mario Close. That, Mario that, Close. Though. That's closer. Okay, Mir so sorry, he does have an icon. Closer. Yeah, Mir exactly. Okay. Closer, yeah. Maybe I'm just talking waffle about mm. Larsson. I think, I think probably there, there, there might be like a handful of icons that you can think to yourself. Eh. There's ones that have been taken away, like Jamie Carragher, for example. Yeah, Jamie Carragher, Gary Neville, Valderrama, players like that. What's his face? The centre back, Lalas. Lalas as well, true. George Way was obviously that's political reasons, but he was a yeah. brilliant card on FIFA. Hmm. It's very interesting. Yeah. Sebastian Veron, is he an icon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one you can definitely argue. Is JJ Okocha? 
Nigeria football and the I mean he made the Akotra flick which is iconic for football right so true but can you give Aidan McGee the icon card I mean <laughs> every <laughs> I single know. every single Irish person I'm just watching kind this, of like, being yes. like devil's advocate devil's advocate for the sake mm, of it I don't absolutely, know yeah. about football it's definitely shouts though 100% I, 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 yeah. I can agree it's with interesting that. Yeah. isn't it yeah absolutely Anyway, that was a very, very side trackable tangent yeah. thing. That could be quite an interesting like little video to talk about, actually. But anyway, pick me some sentiments, Kebs. Okay. On the left side, my friend, I'm going to go for my icon. Uh, another one that I have packed, and I'm going to go for Emmanuel Petit. Ooh, does he deserve to be an icon? There you go. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Does he? Uh, was he part of the Invincibles? Or was this just, af just after his time? I don't know. Don't, I can't remember that. Like, I don't really watch enough football to be able to comment on this, to be honest with you. Like, I know, enough. didn't Lipman, he played for Liverpool, didn't he? And was not very good. That I do not know. Not a clue. He also played, he played for Ajax and seemed to be incredibly good just looking at his stats. And so maybe that's why he's got an, I don't know, maybe it's an Ajax hero. Who knows? Kev's pick a right, right centre mid, please. Um, headliners, Barella, please. You do love picking a headliners card that is incredibly good. I do, actually. It's, it's quite a and bad I do habit. love writing down oh, a headliners card that sake. is incredibly good. You see that, Barella? Mm. See ya! He's gone. That makes me really sad. Mm. There's a whole lot of chit chats just to ruin your midfield, mate. Yep. I feel like that, that we've gone full circle. I was ruining your team yesterday, and now you're now ruining mine. Karma is, I believe, what they call that. True. Karma for pain they don't actually this is really irritating there's no terrible strong links Goodbye. yes there are. oh no no there isn't every strong link to lautaro martinez is gold what a shame that is what a shame for your chemistry pal yeah <laughs> <laughs> would you like a strong link to politano instead um yeah why not I'll be somewhat nice to you helps you over it ruins your martinez but it helps you get in your full backs and stuff because i'm yeah. Really kind and nice. Thanks, mate. I'll give you. Speaking of icons, actually, you can have Maldini. Thank you, mate. I'll have his. Uh, I'll have his son. I don't know if his son's any good at football. Actually, I can't say I've ever seen him play. I mean, I assume his son's quite good at football. He's got a card on FIFA Kerbs. That's usually a good indicator of whether he's a professional footballer or not. Yeah, but he's also 59 rated, so. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> this is the thing, though. He's still very good at football. He's still a professional footballer. This is true. This is. I think people underestimate this sometimes and like even like when you go to the Everton match it proper does my head in because people just sit there and I'll be like you're awful Holgate in a lot less nice language <laughs> for like 90 minutes yeah, and it's yeah. like well yes compared to other Premier League footballers Holgate is terrible and it does annoy me as well because I support Everton however he is unbelievable at football actually the margins oh, yeah. are so fine between Van Dyke and Holgate is so close in ability it's unbelievable compared it's like that Diagram I drew of the cards on FIFA. Van Dyke and Holgate are all the way up the top by themselves, and everyone else in the world is down the bottom. Oh, yeah. But it, that fine little details make such a difference because how close the games are because everyone's so good at football. Anyway, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember what it was because I got a bit sidetracked by that. You can have Maldini, Kebs. Thank you, mate. I yeah, appreciate I, it. I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. What, what were you talking about? Something about, about Harry Maguire, maybe? I don't know. It wasn't Harry Maguire. He's a terrible footballer. He's down with everyone else. <laughs> Uh, icons, Maldini. I can't remember. We've gone, we've gone on that many tangents, mate. I don't think the, tangents the comments... have got tangents at this point. It's like have. branches of a tree. Yeah. Should we move on to the fullbacks? Probably for the best. All right then, Kerbs. Fullbacks, fire away. Quick, people are going to moan at me this video is too long. Okay, um, uh, right back. I'm going to have a man that I, I couldn't have yesterday. I want Florenzi. Um, and left back, I'm going to go at, at Miranda. Miranda? Yeah, future stars, mate. Very quick. Pretty good, very nice. Oh, he does look good, actually. Decent, isn't he? Eric Jordi Alba, unfortunately. The only Miranda I knew of was that terrible BBC sitcom. <laughs> wow. Absolutely horrible, that. Do you know what else is horrible? Oh, no, you haven't. You're right back, mate. Oh, nah, you're actually taking... No, I didn't even need to go for Renzi. <laughs> I didn't even need to. Oh, nah, I didn't. you're actually waffling. <laughs> there's, there's no way How even... the tables have turned from yesterday. <sighs> I'm actually... Nah, there's... <laughs> there's no way. I, I refuse to believe that you've written down for Renzi. <laughs> I genuinely refuse to believe oh, that you've written him. Beautiful. Oh, my God. You can have Zapella, mate. 
fantastic. I mean, he just sounds like he's the lowest rated bronze that's Italian. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, your team is so muddy. Oh, Lord have mercy, Andy. <sighs> Dearie me. Okay, well, who would you like, mate? I'll have Klaus. And okay. Ren and Lozy. Well then, mate. Couple of interesting picks, if I no, do no, say no, so no, myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, I just wanted to inflict some pain. Uh, I'll write down okay. Acuna and Navas. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was going to go for Klaus as well. Oh, Royce, that's Klaus. Yeah. Yet again, I've gone for two players that I wanted yesterday and I can't have them again. I do have chemistry problems, though. Good. So there's a chance for a comeback, mate. Let's get into the two centre backs and the goalie. <laughs> Final stage then, again, like a plaster, straight in there, pick them up players. I think you, there's three centre-backs, and you can write down two of them. Kjaar, Christensen, there's actually four. Felipe, perfect links. And Diego Carlos, strong links to Delaney and Renan Lodi, which would also be very clever. So I think you've written down two of them four. So I'm going to pick Edda Militao. It's absolutely gross. Good card. Very good card. Still like half a mil, which is kind of mad. Wait. What I'm then going to do is go for a Liverpool rest of the defence. I'll have Canate and Alisson. Fair enough, my friend. I actually went for a different approach. I thought you'd go full French. So I wrote down for you, Kimpembe, mm -hmm. Lenormand, because mm -hmm. I thought that um, the other boys would be, well, couldn't they be a bit too obvious? And uh, Ariola. That's what I thought you were going to do, but no. Fair. You get to keep it all, my friend. I was thinking Christensen, French Premier League, Schmeichel. Oh, if you've got the, if you had that um, league player, Saar, who plays for Chelsea, the French centre back, yeah. that would have been really cool, actually. I don't know if you could have done it with Kiara, actually, because you needed French on the other side. Is there a French one from Serie A? I don't, I don't think there's a good one. I think like Demao is like the player, I think. And he's not fantastic. Yeah. Either way, I got away with it, so that's great. Who would you like? Because you can pick literally anything. I can. And I want a little bit of redemption for Gerard Piquet. So I'm going to go for his showdown card. Okay, sure. <laughs> that might be... exciting for me. Well done, Kebs. <laughs> Thanks for the 6-0 win. Brilliant. Um, to his right, I'm going to go for his Barcelona teammate. Flashback, Sam Wellham Titi. Nice. And in goal, we're going to finish off the Barcelona court... Uh, no, that's quartet. That's four. Trio. Trio, that's the one. Uh, to Stegen, please, mate. Nice, mate. You can have it. Very nice. Lovely. What did you write down? I just sort of thought of players I didn't want to play against. Fair so, enough. Koundé. Nice. Very annoying. Very mm -hmm. annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Like, you could carry on saying very annoying for the rest of the time. You wouldn't cover how annoying Koundé is. I put mm -hmm. Sula in case you went Noya, because Noya yep. does my head in. Oh, my God. The other showdown who showed down against them. And I put Mendy for the goalie, because that man's a bloody joke Not this game. to play against. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're not wrong. Well, full teams for me. Mm-hmm. Can't say the same for myself. Three bronzes and a Martinez off chemistry for you. Oh, dear. I am in trouble. Let's get in to the game. And let's discard that petty. It's justice for Puskas. Here we go, then. Puskas is testimonial. <laughs> Puskas and PK. Yep. Oh, my... Excuse me. It's good, isn't he? Have you ever used them? No, I haven't. Oh my god. Oh Whoa. my god. PK, that's not the start that I was anticipating from you, mate. I can't lie. Oh. Well, Gareth. Oh, ref, that's a. Excuse Absolute me. Dive is what that is, mate. <laughs> nah. Ref. That was <laughs> such a terrible tackle. I can't believe I'm going to that. Oh my Ow. god. <laughs> That's absolutely vile, that. I can't believe it. Justice is what that is, mate. <laughs> Just, for what? For bush gas or what? <laughs> for everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's your one and only. I can't, be, I can't be having this again. Beckham with the whippage, though. Oh, no. Oh, my oh God. Gareth nearly beats the keeper. Oh, my God. Oh, what? bloody my... hell, they're all nearly beating the keeper. <laughs> what, is he, what is my keeper doing? Oh, no. I'm titty. No. That's a good finish. 
Ah, it's filth now. And I don't even care. Just this for Puskas. I thought BK had won it as well. Gone full AA9 and it's got a tramp goal. I can't believe this. That ball was absolutely terrible. Oh, my God. Well, I'd say a dominant first half performance from the lads. A horrifically sweaty goal. <laughs> but we have limited you to 0 0.1 expected goals. Yeah, no, like, I, I, I can't work anything. Like This is absolutely... I'm down so bad in this game. <laughs> I just need to be a bit more clinical with all of my possession. and I'm like Everton. Pass the ball around nicely. Final ball. Mess it up. Pass the ball around nicely. Final ball. Mess it up. Honestly, if you want to keep it that way, I'm all for it. Oh my god, I've got... No. 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 Oh my god, he's just too powerful. <gasps> oh, oh, Gareth! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's a no. bit ambitious with the finish, to be fair. But um, Titty was getting back. I actually don't... I, I don't think I've had a single shot on your goal, by the way. I don't think you have. I think I'm about to have another one on yours. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Well done, Titty. Well done. Maybe oh, okay. Maybe a counter-attack is what I need. Maybe. Score from a corner. The Curves classic. <laughs> my corner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I've got, I've got nothing what else if going. If I score from no. my corner. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, that's the only opportunity I've probably got of scoring a <laughs> counter-attack and you score from the set. <laughs> David Beckham in his Preds whipping it in, though, deserves to go in the back of the net. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Boys, we we, we, we don't know what's hit us. This Miranda card, by the way. It seems really good. Really sick. Go on, then. Miranda! Oh, my what God. What a save. What? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that's my first shot on target as well. Right. Come on. No, Dex not on again. The... No, please. Dale this time. Oh, thank God. Good head. Delaney. Go on then. Oh my god. No! Oh! Oh, oh, oh to Stegen, mate. You can't be giving me bleeding heart palpitations like that. Good lord. This has been a bad day at the office for me. Come on, we can get one back. Can he save a discard? Oh god, Absolutely it's Maldini. Not. Oh, the pass. <laughs> oh, that's Barella it goes through. <laughs> oh no. Well, that GG's, my friend. That was. I, I literally couldn't Justice. do it. Justice! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But, oh. Well, that was a mental game. That Gareth Bale is really, really good. Caves unfortunately didn't get to showcase him. I did not know. <laughs> and I feel like he's probably better suited to a two from formation. That True. four, two, three, one second. Although I thought it'd be good for crossing into him. I guess the crosses just weren't there. Maybe he's better playing little one twos around the corner and banging and finesse shots with his left foot. This is very true, my friend. However, there is Kev two. does have to do two discards. I do, and I'm mixed up. Have you mixed around your team? I have, and I can't lie to you, I am extremely worried. You've got Petit, you've got PK, you've got Umtiti, you've got Marty. There's a lot of SBCs, to be honest with you. And yeah, there are. Stuff. Two picks. Right mid. Okay. And right back. Ooh. One untradeable card has gone. Is it PK? It's not. It's his teammate, Sam Wellum Titty. Titty. It is. He is gone. What's the other one. And the other one was to Stegen. Okay. So, not too bad. If you had one more, though, if I had to. You always say one this, and always chance. tells me because I always hit someone good. Left mid. <laughs> oh, that was Gareth Bale. <laughs> uh, he, he's still only 220k, to be fair. I, you I know what? Only. I actually. I don't know why, but PK was left back. I, I don't know why I was put him there. He was stupid. actually left back. Yeah, that, that, to be fair, for the meme and everything. If I discard him, it doesn't matter anyway. He's terrible. Yeah, he is awful. It, it means that no, we haven't got to use him ever again. But um, <laughs> the I'll go temptation stick. Temptation won't be there. Yeah, exactly. Right, let me go stick these into an SBC, mate, and then uh, we'll be we back in a shall sec. be back. <laughs> An 84 rated SPC for uh, Griezmann that uh, probably should cost 40k um, has cost a lot more because nice. the Stegen's more than the SPC and of course I'm losing this I actually I'm quite like this some titty card as well he's good a... he's nice for squad building series as well he is yeah because he's French and of course the amount of French teams that you can build is lovely but he is gone my friend he's but gone. would I rather take an um titty loss than a push cast probably <laughs> 
pretty nice. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, drop a like. Go and check out the scope of the show we did on Curbs' channel. Let me know the answers to all the questions because we talked a lot in this video down yeah. in the comment section. Check out the Clips channel as well. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. <laughs>